Hi guys, I'm Mohit. Hey, I'm Gargi. And we're the two people on the cover of the book that you have in your hand, which we hope that you bought and didn't copy. Uh, we're also the founders of Rebel Guru. With <laughs> some years back, we were engineering students from Mumbai University just like you. We were from TSEC and our lives were just like any other engineering students' lives. When the semester began, we would decide that this time to na boss me pehle se padhai karne wala. I'm not gonna leave anything till last minute. But as soon as the semester progressed, we would also progress into our natural state. We would bunk early morning college lectures and we would scoot into college at 12 in the afternoon, and then decide hmm, as kaun sa lecture bhet ne kaay. The lectures that we actually attended, we didn't really pay attention. We would either draw things, we would play games, we would either sleep. Whatever we did, we hardly ever paid attention. We copied all our assignments, and when it was midterm time, we would actually have a race. Ki kaun pehle bahar nikalta hai? In five minutes, we would get done with our midterm, leave a blank paper, and come out and be very happy and joke about it. The real butterflies would come in when we had a semester full of dhamal, but the study leave come now. Just before the study leave, we would wonder, oh no, ab kya karenge? Ab tak to book bhi nahi khola. Sometimes we would not have even bought the book. Then we would queue up to the Xerox wala and say, boss. Notes stay here, yar. We would get notes from our friends, from that class, from this class, from this college, from several different points. We would get notes. We would Xerox them and pile up a lot of notes in our house, which again we would open just two days before the exam, because that's when we really start studying. We would open the books and then we would say, Oh no, itna karne ka. How will we actually manage to do it? Then we would get religious and say, "Bhagwan, ye time pass karale. Don't give me a KT. Give me a forty." And then we would give the exam. Finally, when the results would be out, generally more than I would score good marks. We would be first class students or sometimes even distinctions. And then we would again <laughs> decide that next semester again we're going to start from the beginning. We are not going to leave everything to last minute. So that was our life in engineering. Lot of fun, lot of dhama, lot of masti. And then we thought we were really good students. Once at one month of studying, and we could crack all Mumbai University exams. Still managed to score well after doing all the musti. We got admissions into good schools in USA, and we were really excited about it. We decided to go to the US for our masters in computer science. So we were off to the US, and uh, we had stars in our eyes. We were very excited. New system, new infrastructure, great profs. We'd heard a lot of good things. and uh, rightly so because it was amazing but when we started uh, going and attending college and we started getting our assignments and our programming assignments then we realized that man this is tough this is this is uh, really tough but at the same time the undergrads from the american universities were cracking it they were having an easy time of it like they would take one day to do a assignment and i would take five and i would wonder why is it that i am finding it so hard it continued with job interviews when i went to job interviews you know i would have a resume with distinction in mumbai university and all that written on it but they would ask me only questions on engineering fundas and then i would have a hard time answering them and uh, one day it just struck me that you know what the heck was i doing for the last 4 years that's when i was supposed to be learning all the fundas and all the concepts instead i ended up focusing too much on studying for marks I focused too much on attending for attendance's sake, and I ignored what was really important, which was the fundamentals and the concepts. Bottom line is, an engineer who knows his concepts, who knows his fundamentals, is much more valuable and much better than an engineer who has excellent marks and a degree that has distinction written on it, because concepts are what counts in the end. Now this could be the story of any of you. Rebel Guru is an initiative started by Mohit and me to put the fun back in the fundamentals, to make learning much more interesting and much more meaningful so that you focus on the right things on the concepts and the fun day and don't worry too much about the marks. We also believe that a lot of learning happens peer to peer. When your friends teach you just before the practicals or just before the vivas or even just before the exam when you study for those 2 hours with your friend and you all discuss these concepts, that's when you have a greater understanding of things. And that's how our first product is going to be. The first product that we launch is going to be a DVD or is a DVD and a book. Now this DVD is not a reference book. This DVD does not contain everything that you have to know about Java. This DVD is also not like a Mumbai University textbook in which we they collect everything from different sources and put it in front of you and tell you exactly what to write in your exams. 
This DVD is a brainchild of Mohit and me in which we teach in a way that you understand. Focusing on concepts, focusing on fundamentals and also giving you exam tips on how to strategically crack your practicals and exams. So that's what this DVD is about. All right, so like Gargi said, it's our uh, brainchild. <laughs> I like that word, Gargi. Uh, but uh, uh, we chose programming for a reason. Uh, programming with Java is the name of the subject, but I think that uh, programming is an essential tool for all engineers today. Whether you're in chemical, uh, civil, mechanical, any branch, you're going to encounter computer programming at some level, at, at some stage. And so if you have a good basic understanding of programming, it's going to be a very useful for you. Uh, secondly, we love programming. We have both been professional programmers. We wrote a few programs in Mumbai University, you know how that is, but uh, we wrote a lot of programs in our US universities. And uh, I went on to work at Oracle. Uh, she worked at a startup and we both uh, wrote a lot of code. So uh, uh, we know what we're talking about and we're going to try and make it easy for you to understand uh, Java and uh, that's the aim of uh, this DVD. Uh, now that's not all. The reason I am passionate about programming is because programming empowers you. Programming allows you to translate your ideas into reality. Now I know there's a lot of smart people out there in Mumbai University who uh, dreamt up uh, mobile games or who have websites in mind or who'd like to make applications and uh, just the simple act of learning programming in your first year is going to give you a great platform. You might have to learn a new language tomorrow, you might have to learn a new framework, but if you know the basics, you can learn anything. Finally, how should you use this book and DVD? Now, ideally, while you're watching the DVD, while you're watching the videos, you should just go through the book. That is the best way to read the book. Of course, you can read the book later in your train or in your bus um, and uh, watch the videos uh, when you're at home. But uh, if you want to be a good programmer, if you want to learn programming, there are the three C's of programming code, code and code. So we want you to write programs. We want you to get your hands dirty, open your text editor and start writing Java programs as soon as you can. And that's what is going to give you confidence for your practicals and for your theory exams. And that's what our uh, DVD and book is all about. Rebel Guru is not just a DVD and a book or theories on programming. Rebel Guru is much more than that. It's a much bigger dream and this is just our very first step. We have many more ideas and we plan to do a lot more in the future. But if you have any ideas on what can be done for engineering students or this engineering community that we're trying to build, do talk to us. And this talk or this idea need not be just about education or Java. It could definitely be about a uh, subject that you would like to study, a subject that you would like uh, seminars on, workshops on, or any ideas on education. But it could also be something outside. You could tell us, um, let's have this kind of t-shirt for an engineering student. Or you could create a song for engineering students. You could be in a band. Any idea, do talk to us. And if you do like our approach, our DVD, our book, and general, our approach to um, looking at engineering and looking at education, do spread the word and talk to your friends about it. And if you don't like our approach, screw you guys. We're going home.